Hi folks, I'm Michael. This is Punk as Folk. Um, we're nearing 500 subscribers, so let's do something I don't, I haven't done yet. Let's go international and digital. And so we keep growing. Like, share, subscribe. Like I've decided that since people are watching that aren't my mom, I would add on some digital stuff as well because that's how a lot of people are consuming music these days and with backups at pressing plants, a lot of times it's just faster to get it into your ear holes digitally. The vinyl I'd like to talk about comes from a Swedish punk band, Blisterhead, The Stormy Sea. You get this cool outer sleeve that I can't feel it right now, but it's on this really neat feeling cardboard. I, I don't know. I have a thing for texture. Um, inner sleeve liner notes with the lyrics on it. And then the album itself, mine is a translucent orange. You see there? My pressing is from Lake Town Records in Germany. It is also available on Liberty and Death Rec Liberty or Death Records. Liberty and Death would be pretty sad. Liberty or Death Records in the United States. They are a politically charged street punk band from Sweden in I said I've been sitting on it. By sitting on it, I mean listening to it a lot. This is, I like political bands. That was the kind of music that got me into punk in the first place. And these guys do a really good job at it. I mean, the vocals are in your face. All of the instrumentation is tight. It's just a well, really well produced album and these guys knocked it out of the park i would say check out haymarket riot or balaclava boys are two of my favorite songs and a lot of the songs on here you will see have that very street punk influence with the big sing-along choruses which i like so if you like rancid dropkick murphy's um yeah, definitely give them, check it out. This, this album is worth picking up. I don't know if it's still available on Liberty and or Death. Why do I keep saying Liberty and Death? Liberty or Death only had a limited amount, so I'm not sure if you can still get it from them. I imported mine from Lake Town because they had a, they may still have a nice package with a t shirt and a tote bag with this super sweet cover art on it. So I wanted it and I probably should have put it on, but it's dirty. The digital music I'd like to talk about tonight is available on Bandcamp and it comes from a gentleman named Dave Strong. He plays in a band called Hellbound Hitmen which is a psycho billy band and they are really good but he is striking out and doing a solo project on laptop punk records and he does everything he released a single it is two songs um, he does vocals songwriting all instruments and then his daughter kira does backing vocals and it's just a really fun single. I, I'd love if everybody could go check it out. Um, it's on Bandcamp, so I think you pay like three bucks for two songs, and it's well worth it. I was talking to a friend. I couldn't quite put my finger on why I liked it so much. And I was talking to a friend, and 
who mentioned that it had a 60s vibe and it clicked with me. It definitely does. It, it's a little, a little bit faster paced, almost 60s punk. It has 60s soul with still that punk rock feel. Um, I, I keep wanting to say the monkeys. I don't know. When I was a kid, I used to love watching the monkeys when I came home. People can say whatever they want. The monkeys were fucking awesome. Uh, but yeah, it has that fun 60s Beach Boys vibe. And he does everything himself. It's really impressive. I'll link to his band camp below. Go check it out. Give him some support. I know he's working on doing more. The two songs he's released are I Would and Little Girl. You can also stream them on Spotify or Tidal or Kobuz, wherever you're streaming music at. I've been pushing more towards the band camp because the amount of streams an artist, a small artist needs to get to make any real money is kind of insane. So I'd rather just pay the three bucks up front, help support them, and in this case, hopefully fund more songs. I'd like to see more from them. I'm sure after you listen to the songs, you will as well. That's all I have for tonight. Hopefully I didn't fuck this up too bad. Uh, if you'd like to support my channel, follow me on Instagram or purchase from the links below. I'm, I'm kind of washy on the Amazon affiliate stuff. So I'm trying to think of another way to kind of keep this rolling. Um, so if you have any ideas, either hit me up on my email or in the comments. And yeah, this was a short one. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.